What's up YouTube, Trey here from Top of Tech and today I'm going to show you to stream console games from your PC directly to Beam.Pro without a capture card. Let's get right into it. We'll go ahead and first start off with the PlayStation simply because you have to install software in order to play your PlayStation on your Windows computer. So we are using Windows but this also will work for Mac. Simply go to this website, I'll have a link in the descriptions. I also made a video directly on how to use remote play for your PS4 to your PC. So links are in the description, there'll also be one on the screen. So click that for a direct how to set that up and then you can continue the video from there. Once you get remote play set up and completely logged in, it's going to bring you to this screen here where it's going to ask you to connect your PS4 controller directly to your PC. Simply hit next and wait for a minute for it to connect to your PS4. You'll log in to your PS4 just like normal. And then once you get your PS4 logged in, it'll give you a window of your PlayStation. Again, what you're wanting to do all this for is so that you can have a window of your PS4 on your desktop. That way you can capture that window through OBS, which I'm going to show you next. Now that you can play your PS4 on your desktop, you're going to open up OBS or Techion if you want to use Techion, and you're going to create a scene. Uh, these are all my scenes for my current setup. These aren't scenes you're going to all need. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and make a new one. We'll call it PS4. And if you're not familiar with OBS, I also have a video that walks you through kind of my whole setup. Uh, so if you want to check that out, links are in the description as well. But I'll also have one that pop up on the screen right now. And now that I made a new scene, my screen is black. So now you're just going to want to add your sources. For this, we're going to do a window capture. So you simply select the window that you want to capture. And the only one we want to capture right now is the PlayStation window. So it's going to be full screen. So now that it's full screen on OBS, it's going to allow you to see your PS4, which is through OBS, but it's still not connected to a game capture card. It's capturing over Wi-Fi using SharePlay. Next, if you want to add a webcam to your stream, you simply just add, you just go to your sources and you add a video capture device and then select your webcam. Once you have it selected, uh, for me, I have to scale it down. So I make it a little smaller and then I take off some of the edges. Uh, that way you don't see stuff behind me, but you can get to uh, get the full effect of my green screen. That way I'm not taking up too much of the screen. Just remember to adjust the size of your PlayStation window to full screen and you're ready to stream. Next we'll talk about the Xbox One, which is incredibly simple. On any Windows computer, you basically already have the Xbox app. If you don't, you can download it. But you just want to go to the taskbar and to the very far left, you're going to hit the last, the second to last one, and that one is for connection. That'll then pull up any Xbox that's connected to the same network, which all you have to do once it's connected to that Xbox is hit the stream button, and then it's going to stream your Xbox to your desktop not stream out to Beam or anything. It's just streaming wirelessly from your Xbox to your desktop. That way you can see your game on your desktop and you can play your game from your Xbox to your desktop. And from here, you set it up just like I showed before. You're gonna capture window or capture display and then just make your screen full screen and you're ready to stream. You can add whatever other overlays you want to through OBS, but the main thing is you want to use OBS or Techion to capture your desktop, not using a game capture card. But that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, here's a, just a quick look at my settings. The one of the main things I wanted to show you is just make sure you set up your Beam.Pro setup with your stream key based on your location and your area. And also you want to make sure your settings are correct. So mess, make sure you mess around with the settings. I do also have a video that kind of covers the settings in better detail, what bit rate you should run at or my suggestions. Uh, so also check that out. Uh, it's the same one from earlier, but here's another link if you have questions about that. That's going to be it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hopefully this helps some of you out. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box down below. You can also reach out to me at Topic Tech on Twitter or come and ask questions live with me every day at 9 a.m. Central Time. 
on beam.pro backslash ttg underscore. And as always, thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and I will see you next time. And on the front of the ripsaw, it gives you two 3.5 ports, an auxiliary and a mic input. Again, this is something that Oh, okay, I get it. I get it. <laughs> I just wanted to